Okay, then this is standard form. It is going to open up to the positive. The acid symmetry, we don't know yet. Here's where we identify A, B, and C. 1, negative 6, and 11. The acid symmetry is the opposite of B over 2A. So that's 6 over 2, so X equals 3. So I can just put that in right now. Now, find the vertex. It's 3 comma something. I have to plug it in, which will be 9 minus 18 plus 11. Okay. Or I could also go to my calculator if I put in, you know, x squared minus 6x plus 11. And look at my calculator and see what 3 says. Either way, 11 plus 9 is 20, minus 18 is 2. Or the calculator tells me it's at 3, 2. So that's my vertex. Remember, it's opening up, so that's a minimum. My y-intercept, we do know that. That's at C. Right there, 11. My domain, not changing. Negative to positive. I guess I'm going to remember now. It's opening up, so how low does it go? 2, and that's inclusive. How high? Positive infinity. Roots? None. And I'm going to get some more points off of my calculator. Even though I can get a pretty good idea with the left side. Uh, 1, 6, 2, 3, 5, 6, 4, 3, and 6, 11. And that gives me a general shape of my parabola. Again, 41, this is standard form. It is also opening up. My A is 1 half, my B is negative 2, and my C is 2. The axis symmetry, F equals opposite of B over 2 times 1 half. So the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. 2 times 1 half is 1, so that's 2. S equals 2. So my vertex is going to be 2 comma something. Again, I can plug it in. 2 squared is 4, half of that is 2. Minus 2 times 2, plus 2. Or, if I go to my calculator, and I have it entered in, we're going to run it anyway to get some other points. Two zero zero two four two six eight and negative two eight. It's got a minimum. Oh, sorry. Two zero. I tried to write that down. The y intercept. We just said with a two. Domain, again, not changing, negative infinity, positive infinity. The range, how low does it go? Inclusive. How high? Positive infinity. And this one's just a straight up error. The roots, I mean, I crashed out the S because there's only one root, is right here. That's a 2 comma 0. I don't know why I have a 0 there. So that was just my mistake. It's 2, 0. And in fact, up here, I'm going to go and make this 0, 2 for the intercept, just better form. And that's it. There's only one root. Okay, this class he fired fireworks. Graphs for 42 and 43 will be added to the next page. Force into the air. Well, initial velocity is 80. And 
and she fired from the ground. So the ground is at zero, and the initial velocity is 80. Now, if she fired it from a stand that was six feet high, HO would be six, but she fired it from the ground. So the equation is height according as a function of time is negative 16 t squared plus 80 t technically plus zero. Find the height after one second. Well, we plug one in. So one squared times negative 16 is negative 16 plus one times 80 plus zero. So that's 80 minus 16, which is 64 feet. Again, another way to do that is to go to y equals, put in negative 16 x squared plus 80 x. You don't have to write the plus zero. And then go to your table and look at one. And it says 64 feet. Find the maximum height and the time it took. Well, again, that's ABC, negative 16, 80, and zero. That's why it's important to recognize zero. Even though we don't need it for this. X equals the opposite of B over two times negative 16. So that's negative 80 over negative 32. Now that's going to be a positive number, and 80 divided by 32 is 2.5. So that's 2.5 seconds. Now again, I will show you this one because you got to remember how to do this. We're going to put in, clear that out, negative 16x squared plus 80x. Now, when we go to our graph, I got a table, we don't have two and a half seconds. Okay? So what we do is a couple choices. We can go to our second table set and go down here and tell it to change by one half. Now, there's two and a half, a hundred feet. Ball saw up to the air, 200 feet, that's HO. Initial velocity of 96 feet per second, that's VO. The model is height as a function of time equals always negative 16t squared plus 96t plus 200. Where's that for one second? Again, two choices. Plug one in here, which would be negative 16 plus 96 plus 200. The other option is to put in the equation negative 16x squared plus 96x plus 200, and go to one second, which is 280 feet. Maximum height, well for maximum height, we have to do ABC, negative 16, 96, we really don't need C, but it's going to have to get into. X equals the opposite of B over 2A. So that's negative 96 over negative 32. And that's positive 3. So that's 3 seconds. Then we look at our table and find out 3 seconds is 344 feet. Highest point. How long did it take to hit 0? Well, that means we're talking about 0 equals negative 16 t squared plus 96t plus 200. Well, I'm 
Unfortunately, they're not all divisible by negative 16, but they are divisible by negative 8. So that makes it a little bit easier to deal with. 2t squared minus 12t, and 200 divided by 8 is 25. So it's a little bit more manageable. So I'm basically breaking down these two. So I can do my ABC method. 2 times negative 25 is negative 50, and A of 12. So I want two numbers that multiply equal 50 and divide by 12. 1 and 50, 2 and 25, not 3, 5 and 10. Okay, so here's the rub. On this one, it doesn't work. The x factor doesn't work. So therefore, that means it's not factorable in this traditional sense. So our only choice now is our old friend, the quadratic formula. So x equals the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root, these are going to be big numbers, sorry, b squared minus 4 times a times c. Huge numbers. All over 2a. But remember, you have a calculator. So not that big of a deal. So x equals negative 96 plus or minus square root. 96 squared is 92.16. This is going to be plus 4 times 16 times 200. So negative times negative is 12,800, all over negative 32. So 12,800 plus 92.16, you just use your calculator here, we get negative 96 plus or minus square root of 22016 over negative 32. Now we're actually going to take this out, we need the actual time, so we're going to actually calculate this, we're not going to simplify. So the square root of 22016, negative 96, plus or minus 148.38. We can say 0.4 all over negative 32. And now you just crunch both of those. So negative 96 plus 148.38. Divide by negative 32, and negative 96 minus 148.38 divided by negative 32. And once again, just use your calculator. Negative 96 plus 148.38, hit enter, divide by negative 32, and you get negative 1.64. And over here, you get negative 96 minus. 148.38 and enter. Divide by negative 32. And you get about 7.64. Well, we can't have negative time, so there's our winner. Winds are going to hit zero. About 7.64 seconds. And now we have completed our review. Okay, when you look at your data for number 42, you want to put some times on here. So you know it's going to end at 5 seconds, so I just skip every other one. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you know the maximum height is 100 feet, so I'm just going to count by tens, but I'm going to only label every other one. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Now, at zero seconds right here, and zero height, it's starting from the ground. Now we know in one second, it's going to be at 64 feet. So here's 60, there's 70, I'm right about there. And then if you look at the maximum at two and a half seconds, which would be this line right here, we know it's hitting 100 feet. Now for the rest, grab your calculator. So there it is, labeled. Here's what it looks like on the graph. It goes up high. It's off the chart, but we look at the table. 
Okay, and we're gonna look at our time. So one second, two seconds and three seconds is gonna be a 96, and then at 64 again. So at two seconds, it's gonna be close to 100. At three seconds, it's gonna be close to 196. And at four seconds, it'll be matching here at 64, and it hits the ground at 65. And so here is that very ugly parabola for this one. And we'll move on to 43. Okay, so for 43, the graph you have will now allow you to go all the way up to 344 by counting by 20s. So I'm counting by 30s. I'm just writing every little line. So 60, 120, 180, and so forth up to um, 360. Now we know at zero seconds it is going to start at initial feet of 200. So again, this is 210 right here. So 200 is approximately right here. We're just guess, you know, approximating. And then at th three seconds, we know it's at 344 feet. And this one does not have enough room, so we're gonna have to do, you know, every one. Okay. You can write 1357 if you want. So in three seconds, <clears throat> the maximum height right here is gonna be at 344. So this is 300, 330, so something like that, 344 is estimate. We know it hits the ground at 7.68, so it's gonna be something like this. So here's this one entered into the calculator, go to the table, and just get some points. So uh, 4 is 328, 5 is 280. So 328 would be, you know, about, this is 330, so really close to there. And 280 after one second. So there's 240. 270, so, you know, 280, something like that. So you get a general idea of what this is going to do coming down at 7.68 seconds, and that's it.